at the farmer's market this morning. I hope they accept cash, because we don't have any euros. Fresh fish, a lot of bread. Everybody seems to need euros. I said cash, I meant card. I did the wrong. Got a little breakfast from this little cafe. A nice little French street corner thing. Pretty fun. I think they just warmed it up, but I'm gonna pretend like it just came out of the oven. These are really freaking good. This might be the best little, what is it called? Chocolate. Panou chocolat. Huh? Panou chocolat. Panou chocolat. And a very Pan good croissant. Mm -hmm. So flaky. They do it. They do this. Good. Here. Done with breakfast. Now there's like an artist farmer's market that we're going to check out. Having a chill little Saturday. On a little, sorry, river walk. Very nice. Little canopy. Fun, fun morning. Chill morning. Let's take the metro to this aerospace museum. So we're going to go try to figure out the metro. We've simply done it. Perfect French. Um, now we need to figure out where we're going. So we'll go to the airport, kind of. We're at the squirrel stop, I think. Here is the tram. I mean, the tram. So that was actually the subway, and now we're getting on the tram, and we didn't film a lot in there because there was a bunch of people. I don't want to get yelled at in French. So, no, that was the metro. Now onto the, the tram. We got off the metro here, and we're taking the tram to here. So we're seeing a lot of different stuff in Toulouse. Very cool. Might be back in Blanc, though. We're at the Aerospace Museum. I have to figure out how to get tickets, but we can already see the Concorde poking his little nose up. Very exciting. Very big Concorde. So cool. Can we win it? Starting with the history of flight, Greek mythology, some. Well, that, that one, this one's, I think, Greek, and this one's Egyptian, and then we got Da Vinci, and it goes way down there. Super fun. We're in the Super Guppy. Big plane. Super. So big. To transport big things. It's just a warehouse of cool airplanes. It's a very cool museum. As a real Jedi fighter and my beautiful wife. <laughs> a ton of models throughout history. Just keeps going. The Concord. Very cool airplane. You can break the speed of sound. It's tiny. super mechanically engineered, which was rough because it was super complicated. Trinkets. <laughs> Holy cow. Dude, it's, I, it's shockingly small on the inside. Jeez. Imagine being the engineer who had to sit here and try and figure out what to do with all these buttons. Wow. First class seat, tiny little windows. Concord's so cool. Cool bathroom. And this is, this is where I'd be swimming, back with the pores. <laughs> they would find a little bat thing. Super I guess, I don't know. Super cool. So the Concorde is a droop nose, so that means uh, it would literally like bend the cockpit down so this would all be straight and they would land and be able to look down with uh, with a bend in the front so the pilots could see where they're landing, which is insane. I didn't know only 20 were ever made, which is cool. And there's the the wing, the, I can't remember what it's called because I'm a dumb guy, but yeah, it's a cool, a cool, cool, cool airplane. Now we're in the, what was this, A300? I don't know. But it's cool because it's see-through. So 
See all the wires. Very cool. A lot going on on the airplane. It was the A300. I totally knew that. I totally didn't read it. <laughs> it's big too. You tell it's an old plane because of all the leg room and because of the gross patterns that the chairs have. But I wonder if you could smoke cigarettes on this plane. Might be old enough. I got lazy boys on this. That's pretty sweet. Apparently you could get this on a 300, which is sweet. Or you could just get a little studio apartment. That's pretty crazy. It's actually insane. This is, this is nicer than some hotels I've stayed in. There's a picture of the drip nose. Mach 2, they go so fast. There's the droop snoot. There's the filtering body. Super cool. I think helicopters are terrifying and the pilots are insane. So these are pretty cool. But I simply would not get in one. That's okay. This is a gazelle. Okay. This is so big. I didn't even notice the one hanging from the ceiling airplanes Concord's so cool it's mostly this is a Concord video with other airplanes I guess an ATR 72600 I thought it was the C295 for a second but the tail's wrong which is a bummer I like the C295 very selfishly and there's the A380 monster I think we saw one flying yesterday or some big version i don't know what it was but a big plane in the middle of the a380 big that's i guess where the pilot sits over here and we'll go to the top later i wish i could sit in there so bad that'd be so cool and they fly a long time, so they take a little nap. And here's the cockpit. And then their little nap time room, so they're not grumpy. <laughs> Pretty cool. That was neat. And we're gonna go up the fancy stairs. Don't know where it's gonna take us. Up to the top deck. Oh, the fancy deck. They're doing it in style up here. They're all pores sent down below. These chairs don't look very comfy. They don't look comfy at all. Dang, that looks sweet. A380, man. It's cool. Cool chairs. Cool hangout zones. A320, which is a normal but pretty big airplane. And it just is so tiny compared to an A3. Or I'm sorry. An a380 so big insane this is the only ever built concord flight sim that has been restored so you could still learn to to fly the concord and we're back look at that butt it's a good plane i mean look at some other less cool planes but still still cool planes if you read this quick you'll understand how jet engines work Pretty cool. Little micro star. Next to the super copy, it makes it look so tiny. It's already teeny tiny. And then, I don't remember, I'm not a big Star Wars guy. The little rebel fighter or whatever, R2D2. Can't believe it's real, I thought it was a movie, but here it is. I feel like I'm looking at its privates. Just under the planes. This is a very cool museum. I would recommend. Cessna Super Sky Masters. Got the split tail, kind of like the P-38, which is my second favorite airplane. And some other, I don't know. I didn't get far enough to read what this is. Looks Spanish. Kind of cool, cool little baby guy. 
bunch of airplanes. I'll go read this. Uh, some I'll have one fact. Mirage 3C. And it is French, not Spanish. Here's the other Concorde. You can really see the landing gear, and that's why it had to have the droop nose. Um, and a couple other planes that aren't the Concorde. So they're not as cool, but they're still pretty cool. So this is the second tarmac. Trying to sprinkle. Very cool museum. Very cool airplanes. And there's one last one. Look at it's a 400. Big boy. Very cool. Getting back on the tram. You buy a ticket at like the station, and then it's kind of like the honor system. You just put the. You'll get in a a car, and then you say, "Hey, I have a." You scan your ticket. So there's no one like asking for it, which is cool. It's cool that it works here. I don't know if it would work in America. And that's what the tram looks like. One, two, three, four, five cars. So not, not too big. So they zip around. It was very quick. Quick stop. Goodbye. Down there was the Metro and we're back at the Capitol building. So super easy and it gets you right in the action.